Hey, how you doing? This is... Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Crusader Kings 2 Jade Dragon as Tybet. Last episode, we were thinking about who we wanted to attack, and I think I got a really good idea of who I want to attack. We got a lot of we got a lot of folks we can attack. I just I'm not quite sure who. Well, I do have a pretty good idea who. And I think before I do it, I want to spend some of my grace. If that doesn't give a hint. Um yeah, we're paying a ton of money to to China every year. And uh we don't really get a lot for that. Yeah, we'll go to your party. So yeah, I think I'm going to uh, going to do that. We are going to see if we can't become a freed tributary. Now let's see. Can we tell? We need to prepare for this a little bit, and uh, I think we're close. I wish there was like a total. I wish it would tell us like, cause it says 14.8, but it's not 14,000 men. I wish you would just tell me how many men. Let's see. We've got about 30 there. About 300 there. Yeah, we're, we're close to getting a, a full retinue. And we've got... We've got 14... Uh, we got another 1,000 troops of our own personal domain that need to be risen up. Let's see. What are our counselors up to? Are they all in a good spot? I think they are. And let's see, we probably, one of the good things about uh, becoming a Christian is that we have a lot of holy orders. Well, actually, we only have four. And we can't seem to hire any of them. We probably need to be involved in a religious war, which we will be here very shortly. All right, we're at max. Oh, we can become a game master. That gives us extra martial. Yes, let's do that. That makes us a better leader. Prince of Jerusalem. Excellent. Let's do that. And let's see. Do we have... Let's see, we need a new steward. Wow, look at your marshal. Well, we probably should look and see... Do we have a powerful vassal? No, we do not. So, yeah... Boy, you are good. Uh, why don't you get money for us? It would be nice to have a little bit of money because we are going to have to raise things. We, we have to prepare for this, basically. What happened? All right, we are getting a thing, and my husband was burnt to death. Oh, huh. Burnt by him. Okay, he must have been an apostate or something. Yes, we will go and visit. Uh, boy, we were saving up money. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Um, let's see. We need a new husband. We can marry this guy. Boy, he's got a lot of marshal. Yeah, I think we probably should. We're going to take a prestige hit. That is all right. Yeah, what does that do? Does that... Yeah, that gives us an extra 1,000 troops. Excellent. That gives us 30,000. That will be very good. 30,000 just in levy. 38,000 all day, right? 37.25. Eh, close enough. Kids need things. You need things. Uh, yeah, I guess you'll go for Marshall. Got that... Nomad agitation again. Was there anything we could do about that? Eh, it's money. I don't care. It seems like last time it went away and my vassal just went and conquered it again. Alright, we can get more things. Do we want another strategist? Or do we want a Chinese artifact? Siege engineers. These these character all have the way of the leopard. Um. Yeah, 
Stra another strategist? I mean, these are going to be good, like, commanders and stuff, right? Yeah, I think... I think we need I think we need all the commanders we can. I don't know if they'll leave or not if we declare war on China. I guess we'll see. But yeah, I mean I I think I don't I don't know. I don't know what the event's like. I haven't seen it or anything. What I do know is that we're giving them half of our money. 240. That is a ton of gold. We should be making a lot more money than we are. I do know that for a fact. And let's see, are you st I don't know how, if I'm having a famine. Well, it doesn't say that it does, but I don't know. Let's see, do we have any, can we like form an alliance with you? No. Can we form an alliance with you? No, you're like our, you're like our person. Um, Emperor of Tibet. Oh, that's my husband. That's right. Okay. I was confused. All right. Well, let's see. Where are we at? Well, we still need a couple more troops. Probably in our capital. No. Where are they at? They're right here. And right here. Okay, he has resolved his revolt. Good job, I guess. All right, we got about 200 gold now. I think I think we should do it. I think we should do it. Let's do it. Let's 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 just do it. We're just going to do it. May God help us. All right. Let's get this going. Let's get all of our troops raised. Uh, why did they not all raise? I guess we have tribal vassals or something. 3,000 troops. Not too worried about it. Oh, there's that. Does that thing. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm assuming they're going to come from somewhere on that side of the map. So let's kind of just kind of get to the middle here. Let's see. Oh, no, they're right there. They are right there. Um, why don't you guys come down this way? And yeah, all you folk come over here. Let's see. Let's just check supply limits now. Everybody go there. That is much better as far as supply limits go. All right. And uh, we will move our troops in that direction. Um, a lot of people can't join our war. Some of them can. Who are you? You're that guy there. You want to join my war? Are you a tributary? Okay, I guess some of the other tributaries are um, joining as well. Um, thank you. 27,000, 4,600. So he's got a nice little stack there. That's... Probably more than me. Can we... <laughs> yes, we can. They are a little bit expensive, though, aren't they? But that is 4,500 extra troops. Boy, we won't be able to support those for long. Do we still have our decision to... Borrow 300 from... Yes, we do. Fifteen hundred troops for... Fifty-two piety. Hundred and thirty-seven piety and twenty-five. That is expensive, but that is... That's not that many troops. Um... Let's hire them, and we'll just... We'll just... We'll just see how that goes. Watch our money situation. We should not be paying tribute anymore, right?
but yeah, we're still negative. And they are they are a siegeon. They are definitely a siegeon. Okay, let's uh, move these guys up here. Either one of these provinces would be fine. Ooh, that one's really good. So hopefully we'll be able to get up there before everything is sieged down. And before attrition kills our whole entire army. That is so infuriating. Okay, that is 14,000 troops. Let's see, 10, 15, 12, 29. Let's move you guys over here. I don't want to lose my entire army to attrition. Let's see, we started out with, what, 37? We're now, So we've lost 7,000 troops now to attrition. And we are down to our budget deficit. We can no longer afford our mercenaries. So, I don't know that we need them. 18,000. That should work. Let's go ahead and bring you up as well. Where is the river crossing? Between there and there. All right, let's look at our commanders. We did not lose that commander. Moral damage, damage, okay. I am on the flank and you are way of the dog, which is attrition minus 50%. Ooh, that's nice. Leading the center plus 20. So you need to be that guy and you need to be that guy. And let's see if we can convince you not to go that way. What? These are the terms of my surrender. Okay. Um, no. I will not surrender. Good try, though. What's going on here? Are you assaulting? Don't know why you were assaulting. I did not tell you to assault, but okay. All right, let's move all of you guys over here. Whoa, no. Okay, no river crossing, no river crossing. I like that a lot better. You guys, stop. Join together. Let's see, that is the 30th of July, 21st of August. And uh, that is a nice big win. And you guys go ahead and head that way. You guys head that way. You guys come up here. Or actually, you guys go right there. You can siege down that land. Like I was hurt. That is all right. We just got another nice little win there. How is the supply limit here? 14? So we are right under it. We need a new chancellor. You would like to be chancellor? I would like you to be chancellor. And, uh, boy, I don't, I don't know. What do, you, what do you need to do? You need to make that guy happy. Oh, we still have this thousand troops down here. Let's go ahead and bring them up as well. Attrition, attrition, attrition. 9.5k. Uh, let's split you guys in half and bring half of you over here. And we'll go ahead and get some of this stuff sieged down. Um, oh. So you guys are now under unrest. 
I don't know. The funny part of that is I think during unrest, you can actually leave your tributary status through a decision. Yep, stop paying tribute right there. Oh, well. It's a lot more fun this way, right? I got an infection, which is not great. Let's see, he's got 15,000. Looks like you are going to attack our ally there. Can you just assault that real quick? And let's bring these guys in and see if that makes him stop. Yes, it does. Okay, he's got 4,000 troops up there. Let's go ahead and bring him up and move him up. Make sure we have some decent commanders here. Let's see, we wanted, oh. Doesn't matter what we wanted, I guess. Okay, he's coming up there. Oh, that's probably not ideal. Let's see if we can discourage him. Yes, we can. Okay, not optimal this. Let's move these guys up, you up, you over. I know that siege was almost over. I don't know if it was going to help us much, but I like this positioning a lot better. And yeah, we'll just uh, unsiege everything. I would like to get into a position where we could attack him. Let's see, what is the supply limit here? 14,000? 14,000. 14,000. So yeah, after that siege pops, I'm going to move those guys over there and we'll attack with them. Okay. Patrician. We we'll just have to deal with that. Do want to make sure we have commanders. Okay, that's the guy I want. I want you guy you on the other flank. Yeah, I feel kind of bad. I mean, we took the uh, we took their commanders from them and started using them against them. All's fair in war. And yeah, they're just kind of they're just kind of moving off. Um, they are going to where are they going? We'll arrive in. Mool. Um, okay. It's always where they're going next, right? I don't know. It doesn't matter. What is going on here? Why are... Why are you... Why do you have our land sieged? I don't know. I have no idea. What I do know is we are taking back our land and we are at 60% war score right now, which is not bad. Sixty-five percent war score. 87% war score. And we're all positive, right? Battles. 75% war score from battles for attackers. Hacker controls all of their holdings. 
Okay, so I guess, I guess how I'm choosing to read that is that 75% war score from battles for attackers. So I'm the attacker, right? So I can only get up to 75% from the battles. We are currently at, what, 20, 36, uh, 60. We're, we're pretty close to 75% just from the battles alone. So I guess we have to just wait for the rest of the war score to tick out. We're at 91%. And they just kind of took off. They're gone. I haven't seen them. Uh, you... Are you my daughter or something? Yes. Why don't we haven't done faith in a while? And you need to focus. Um, let's do stewardship. And oh, you don't want to do stewardship, huh? Why don't you do marshal? Wow, you've got a high stewardship though. And you guys can marry. Excellent. Minus thirty-five gold. And, uh, yeah, all this other stuff. We've managed to whittle down the enemy armies. I can almost be beginning the dream of victory when my generals inform me that the Chinese emperor has dispatched more forces from the west. Oh, lame. Um, near the province of Samata. Samata. Where is Samata? Watch it be like on the other side of the world. Samata. Yep, it's pretty far down there. Um, I wish I knew where his army was up here so I could... Yeah, I mean, I guess... I guess we'll all head down that way. Um, I don't remember how big his army was either. Yeah, maybe we'll leave we'll leave half of them up here. That sounds reasonable. And the rest of them, I guess a little bit more than half, we'll take down. Oh, thank you, Pope. Another good part about being Christian. We are fighting infidels. All right, yeah, I'm going to tell you to wait a little bit because that attrition is killer. Absolutely killer. All right, yeah, they kind of went down and went for our capital. Um, and they have a lot more troops than we do. We've got 40. Oh, they got a, they've got a whole bunch of doom stacks down there. Excellent. Hundred percent war score. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> they were sieging down my capital. They had a lot of troops down there. And uh we did it. We have done it. We have freed ourselves from Chinese influence. Go ahead and lower those levies and get that negative balance down. Um, you guys should all be retinues. Excellent. Clashed against the Chinese regiments. Few anticipated this outcome. While the Middle Kingdom put in a valiant effort, it ended up with a sullen retreat. Finally clear that the Empire lost the war against Tibet. Empress Brusha Moor stands victorious. While agents across the world are wondering what repercussions this will have for the political map, we have come to know. And we'll remember our name. That's got to be worth like a million prestige, right? Nope. But we are Tibet. I bet. Excellent. Well, it wasn't quite invading. It wasn't quite invading China, as was suggested I tried to do, but um, it was it was freeing ourselves, becoming a free Tibet. 
and uh, winning a war against them. And uh, that that makes me really happy. That makes me really happy. What am I doing? Truces are expiring with that guy. Okay, I respect that. That's fine. We're going to have a revolt. That's how we're going to celebrate this, with a revolt of 849 peasants. Sigh. Yeah, you guys just hang out there and take care of that here in a second. All right, well, you guys probably hate us now. Yes, you do. It's understandable. We could send you a eunuch to make it up, but, uh, you know, I really don't care. Go and raid him. Hmm. That might be fun. Probably not, though. Probably not. All right, let me just quell this rebellion real quick. And uh, we will take a look at our income. We are earning 29 gold a turn. That is much better. And our uh, guys are still recovering and stuff like that. So we are actually in really good shape. All right. Well, I think I'm going to put this series to a close. Um, that was ending on a very high note, I think. Um, I'm just... I love this game. I absolutely love this game, and I do want to continue playing this game. I, It's just really, really, really frustrating playing over here. The distances are so long. The attrition is just absolutely killer, and I'm just not enjoying it as much as I was on the, um, on the, the Irish playthrough. I, I had a lot better time over there. Uh, this whole thing, I, I, I still don't know how I feel about it. It's... It's a thing. I, I'm, I'm not... I, I don't think it's something I'm going to be playing with too much. Um, I, I'm glad that we tried it. It was something that we did. I, I don't know. It just... Some of the stuff was very underwhelming. The invasion thing was completely overpowered. I didn't really take advantage of it like I should have, probably. I could see if, like... If, like, you know, the Abbasids had stayed together and just had, like, this big, huge empire or something like that, and they were really, really threatening, I could see where it would be really handy. I mean, we had these guys that got kind of big, but, uh, you know, he's got 10,000 troops still. This guy, where are you at? You're at 15. I mean, we we, we stayed up. We, we When we formed the empire, we, we, we kept up with everybody pretty well. It was kind of like a three-way stalemate, four-way stalemate around here. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we could probably go on and expand. I don't know how many troops that you need to, in order to actually invade their empire. I know that it's a lot. I know that it's a lot. And, let's see, we have a 75% penalty to our levy reinforcement rate. Um... Yeah, I just... I, I just don't think I'm interested in playing this long enough in order to make that happen. And just with the attrition, I just, if they send a hundred thousand, I, that doesn't scare me so much, but even if I could rate a, rate a, raise a hundred thousand, there's no way I could get those troops up there without losing half of them to attrition. Not without like a hundred years to get military organization maxed out, which it's up to five. You would think it would be a lot better. Removes the pagan homeland attrition penalty. Well, we're not in pagan homelands. This is just this is just the attrition here on this map that that happens in Tibet for whatever reason. Anyway, um, I do have some more Crusader Kings two series planned. Um, a rather, rather short one and a rather lengthy one coming up here very soon. Um, thank you very much for 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 sticking with me through this series. Um, I, I had a good time with it. Uh, I don't know that I'll be visiting this side of the map again, though. But uh, I, I really do appreciate appreciate you watching it all the way through, and um, I will see you in the next series. Thank you for watching.